Hello, my name is Brian, and welcome to Overland Calling. We're still kicking around the southeast, planning a little exploration in North Carolina and Georgia, kicking around on dirt roads, even exploring campgrounds in the area. And of course, finding our way onto the back roads. Some of those roads less traveled. Doing some stuff maybe we shouldn't try. So thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoy the ride. You might recall from episode one, we were coming off of Old North Carolina 105. That's where we're going to pick this up, hitting the open road. Lots of pavement in between our destinations, but we got a chance to have some gourmet food along the way. We did at least get a chance to stick mostly to the back roads. Well, we are just pulling in to the Blue Ridge Parkway Visitor Center. If you can see past the Pringles can, I told y'all I don't cook very often. So we're right outside of Asheville. I'm thinking that I'm just going to go down this way. Check out these trails. Maybe even down in here. Then pop up and check out this area. We'll have to see how far we get. And then eventually I'm going to be popping all the way back up here and doing my dangdus to go right there, Hurricane Creek. So we're gonna give this little exploration route a try. Loop down and back around. This is Trails Off Road. Let's take a peek at good old Gaia. So here I am at the park headquarters. So there we are, we're gonna go down, go along the Blue Ridge Parkway, cross the interstate. Look at that, so see? those roads right there 491 that's a forest road see how it's kind of different colors we can go check that out maybe check out the campground see what they got there i wouldn't exactly turn down a shower parkway visitor center is pretty darn nice i'm impressed they have a place to drop off trash and they have running water bathrooms how about that I'll see y'all again when we hit dirt. Jesus, we're in a campground. Just in case we need a place to shower. I want to come check this place out. There's all kinds of hiking around here. Not usually a fan of campgrounds, but I'm kind of digging the openness. We'll see how it is camping. All right, Bent Creek Loop. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, they are a bit spread out, so that's nice. That's a nice big spot. There's some nice camping here. I'll put the name on the uh, on the screen for you. It's not too bad at all. Spaces are pretty spread out. You got trees in between you and your next camper. I mean, not so much into the camping with all my friends, but uh, camping with people around everywhere. But hey, if it's your thing, this is a super nice wooded campground. You ain't gonna get any solar here though, heads up. Now let's go find something in the middle of nowhere. Look at that. Right outside the campground is a little trail. This beats driving on pavement any day of the week. See if there's any camping up here, maybe mark some spots. Man, I'll tell you what. This trail's got some elevation gain. Campsites, eh, it doesn't seem to be real dispersed camping friendly. If there's any official camping along this trail, I haven't seen it. Oh, well, this looks pretty cool. Got a tiny little underpass here. Looks 
look, we just take this road around to the right here. Not quite sure what we're gonna find. It's a pretty drive though. We're here on Wash Creek. I just saw an interesting sign that uh, said roadside camping is permitted when it's marked. There may actually be a campsite here. Now, a nice, easy to access road like this, chances of it not being already taken on a weekend, yeah, pretty slim. But hey, at least it's a sign of camping allowed. Literally, marked by a little picture of a tent. There's one of those roadside camping areas. Definitely taken. Wow, there's like five spots in here, looks like. And they are all on the taken side. People are getting out, good on them. Well, hello and welcome to the great state of Georgia. We're off of a trail called Overflow Creek. Never been here, don't know that much about it. Um, it's basically like a dirt type road. I'm not expecting anything crazy, but man, is it beautiful here. says overlanders don't ever get out and walk granted I ain't walking very far I know I know flip-flops are not the ideal hiking shoe I get it I don't care but I get it oh yeah check out this little hidden oasis Yeah, that's not happening. Check this out just a second longer. All right, let's go hit the trail. See if we can find a place to camp tonight. Hopefully it won't be as busy as it was in North Carolina. Because let me tell you, those people, they like to camp. It's no really good wood. Ooh, I got some good mud. That's not bad wood. Not bad, but not good. Trying to build enough for a campfire. Got a couple twigs stored so far. Maybe just a little small one. Look at that, pretty. This looks like a road less taken. 86C Tottery Pole Road. Let's go check it out. The trail says it might have some pinstriping. So that'd be kind of cool. Kind of nice to transition to a two track. Look at that, 72 degrees. Oh yeah, now this is the way to run trails. I don't know about you, but I have always liked looking up as we go through the trees. Just something about it. It's magical. I'm getting a little worried about finding a campsite. 
I really don't want to do a weekend rest area stop or something crazy like that. Wow, what is that? Ooh. Well, that looks a little promising. I'm going to go check and see if there's a spot up here. Trails Off Road is telling me that there is one. This is what they're calling a campsite? Seriously? All right, trails off road. Small clearing commonly used for camping. Well, definitely not car camping. Let's go try that other road. Yeah, because looks like they're blocking off vehicle travel up to these spots. Well, let's try the road less traveled. I think I'm actually going to put it in four-wheel drive for this. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> that was a big one. Uh, we're going to go up top. Because, quite frankly, there's too many trees to hold a camera outside the window. Most of this trip I haven't filmed at all, but honestly, there's just not that much that's interesting about a dirt road. I mean, it's pretty, but as far as like taking my uh, camera out, putting it out and driving by, that's just not nearly as cool as something like this. Let's see a mud hole. This is up there on the list of things that I probably shouldn't do. So I've got to go up this incline, which I'm having trouble walking up. I ain't gonna lie. Try my best to dodge this big jagged rock and then go down. Yeah, this is high on the list of things that I probably shouldn't try without disconnecting my sway bars and airing down my tires. Let's go. Nope, completely turtle. Damn, it was worth a shot though.
looks like that tire might have had a little bit of room. Nah, I was digging in and my tires weren't even part way up yet. No! Oh well. <laughs> it was worth a shot. I can barely even walk down this thing. <sighs> reverse of shame. Come on, Zeus, reverse of shame. Quick, before somebody in a Toyota sees us. We are out of daylight. There's a little camp spot right over here. Before we get too far along, I think there's a certain somebody that wants to get out of the car. Ah, you're getting heavy. Let's see if I can actually get this done before he knocks over the camera. Whoop, bye camera. One bag of tent steaks, which, by the way, I'm loving these things. I'll put a link to them in the description. It's my first trip, but they've gone through four setups, and I mean, they're, I mean, they're still spikes. You know, it's not that complicated. But I like this little divot here on the end, and honestly, like, I pound these suckers into the ground, and they just keep on a taking it. I've gone through a, a fair number of tent steaks. Make sure you don't have any widow makers around you. Like, see, for example, that tree right there with no bark on it, that's a widow maker. But if it falls, it ain't gonna hit me. You know what? I just saw this trail's got a name. It's a Jeep trail. This is interesting. Trail, it's marked on the map. I have no idea what the designation of a trail is, but I don't know. Let's go hit trail 75. Well, would you look at that? 
It's a wonderful little camping spot. Man, I wish I would have found that yesterday. That's all right though. This trip's about exploring. Let's just take care of marking that bad boy. I don't have any cell phone. And if I'm traveling here during the week, I want to know that this is not one of my week time camping spots. We better put that in a folder. Don't be me. Keep your stuff organized. Low branch. So this is what I love. Getting out, exploring. Got my co-pilot Zeus here. It's a good Sunday. And guess what I just decided? Because I was kind of lazy getting around camp, I think I'm gonna take a vacation day. I'm about maxed out anyway. Saving up for a big summer trip. Do the old Friday, Monday vacation trick. Pull four day epic vacations every week. We'll see how it works out, but that's what I got planned in my mind. Well, that just takes all the fun out of it. It looks like we're not going any farther. Thank you for sharing your driveway. Just kidding, it's not private property. It's a state forest road. Hey, we found a campsite. Can't beat that. Man, this is a nice spot. Not the most level in the world for car camping, but I can deal with that. Beautiful fire pit. And a nice little tent pad right here. Nice level tent pad. This will do for a lunch spot, that's for sure. He hates this trick. Stay. Did you ever wonder what it would be like to be a Rottweiler's meal? Okay, go get it. <laughs> there you go. Zeus is taken care of. Let's see if we can find ourselves some grub. Birds are getting a little bare, but this would be a lunchtime favorite. Good old meat and cheese. And of course, some Triscuits. Just for you, Roberts. I don't usually like to eat much in the way of lunch whenever I'm out exploring, because it's always a race between me and daylight. So this is gonna be perfect. Just a little snack. I got a steak in there that's saying cook me. So that's gonna be dinner tonight. Bon appetit. Oh. All right. Zeus has been cooked up in that car way too long. All right, go get it, buddy. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. All right, you coming or not? All right, let's go. We're over here on, I don't know if you can see that, that's Forest Road 696. Let's see what this thing's got in store for us. Well, for one, there's a camping spot right there. 
I'm gonna mark that one. Man, I was hoping for a nice campsite at the end of this trail. No such luck. But I do hear something that sounds a little bit like water. Guard the truck. Apparently it's a launch spot. Let's make our way down the trail and see. Buddy, it's time to start getting serious. See if we can find a place to camp. Hopefully the sound's not too bad. My sound gear is still charging. I'm on the hunt for cell phone reception so I can put in my out of office reply. And ideally, campsite as well because I could definitely use a little camping right now it's 4 30 and I'm ready to hop off the trail taking a chance driving to what looks to be the top of a small mountain Definitely a little off the beaten path. This was just a little forest road I saw off the paved road. Pretty nice little road. Please, oh please, open up into a beautiful, epic camp spot. Well, it was not the epic mountaintop camping spot that I'd hoped for. We do have some internet, got two bars. So time to put that out of office reply on. This dead ended into a, a little roundabout. I could camp here in a pinch, but man, there's just, there's trash and crap everywhere. Thank you humans, great job. Fire trail cuddling. Back to civilization. First part of this little offshoot is actually the worst part. Then it kind of calms down. Go nice and slow because I still don't have my sway bars connected. We're gonna see what this road up to Sarah's Creek Campground looks like. Not quite sure what the heck we're running into, but we're going to check it out. We switched to dirt. Hey, that's a bonus. It's still a gravel road with a couple potholes in it, but hey, beats pavement. 
I don't know. I could definitely go for something that, I don't know, Creekside? That'd be nice. I mean, honestly, even if it is a campground, I think I'd probably take it. Well, it's gonna be five bucks for me. The America, the beautiful pass. Oh, you can write them checks. I brought cash. Well, welcome to Sarah's Creek. It's a campground, sort of. I mean, we're definitely off the beaten path here, but I get my Creekside camp. Oh, this is pretty darn nice. You got the sound of the water. A little Sarah's Creek babbling in the background. It's not an epic spot, but I'm Creekside. So, you know what? I'm going to take it. I got camp partway set up. I haven't even thought about cooking dinner yet. Probably should be doing that. But with the last little bit of daylight, I think I'm just gonna sit and hang out by the stream. So enjoy the view. And yes, I am getting new pants one day. I don't think it's coming through on camera, but Zeus is snoring right now. That's a fat and happy dog. As I was going along the trail today, just been kind of slowly picking up wood. Especially once I got kind of off the beaten path. There seemed to be plenty of laying around. Now it's paying off. This campfire pit was basically just a, I don't know, half full with sopping wet uh, ash. Not the best thing in the world to make a campfire on. Oh. I can't think of a better way to wrap things up for this episode than a nightly fire. Make sure you catch the next episode and find out what was waiting just a mere couple minutes down the road if I would have kept exploring. Till then, enjoy the ride.